See how cloudy it looks? You can see where somebody had been wiping on it at one point. Look how much better that looks. Welcome back to Fabulum of Detailing. You guys, this video, I have my 2009 Harley Davidson Electric Glide Ultra Classic. It has the notorious headlight fog on the inside of the headlamp assembly. Um, I had some thoughts on how I could clean it. And I was like, you know, surely I can just stuff a rag down inside there or something like that. So then I got on YouTube thinking, you know what, maybe somebody will show, hey, take the lens off because you can tell where somebody's been wiping. I'll show you guys here in a minute. Um, I can take the lens off and do it easier. Nope, sure enough, basically you're gonna stick a rag down in there, uh, clean that fog out. I wanna say thank you to James Niece on YouTube. I don't know the guy, I just watched his video, I had a good video on it. Um, and that's why I'm gonna try it on this and hopefully it turns out good. So I'm gonna show you guys what this headlight looks like and then we're gonna get to it. Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna try without the headlight on to show you. In person, I can see it really well. I see how it's like cloudy looking. Let me turn the headlight on, so that's because that's gonna mess the camera up. I'm getting ready to ceramic coat the bike. That's why it has all these towels and stuff on it. I'm trying to keep the dust off of it. See how cloudy it looks. You can see where somebody had been wiping on it at one point. And that's what we're gonna try to get rid of. So to do this task, you guys, if you decide to do this on your own motorcycle, you're gonna need basically three things. You're gonna need a number two, Phillips head screwdriver. You're gonna need a couple microfiber towels. I prefer waffle weave anytime I'm doing any type of glass cleaning or using a glass cleaner. And then you need the world's best glass cleaner, which is Diamond Clear. Now, the reason I put both these bottles out here for you, if you buy it off my website, this is the bottle you'll get the exact same formula as this. This just has their old, old logo on it. I have cleaned our house windows multiple times, cars, the truck, the camper, um, everything you guys. And this thing is still a quarter of the way full at least. So a little bit goes a long way. You guys, this is the best glass cleaner you'll ever use hands down. Now we did limit it on the website to six cans per order um, because we were getting orders with big amounts and we were running through glass cleaner like water and having to reorder constantly, which is a good problem to have, don't get me wrong. Uh, we decided to go ahead and limit so everybody has a chance of getting it. Uh, it's been a very, very popular product. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna saturate the towel um, and then we're gonna stick it down in there and then we're gonna clean it. And you wanna use a blunt object. I'm sorry, you're gonna need four things, I'm sorry. I did make a mistake there. I'm gonna to try to use this uh, nut driver because it is a flat end, so I don't scratch the inside of the lens. You're gonna need that also. So now we just gotta get the headlight off of there. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this lower screw. Probably could have used a shorter screwdriver, but it's okay. I got a towel on the fender. I'm not, I'm not hurting the fender in any way. I'm just gonna take the outer ring off and that's gonna open it up so we can remove three Phillips heads that are holding it in. And I'll show you what you don't want to do. Let me go ahead and just show you that. The ones that have the funny looking spring on them right here, those are your adjusters. You don't want to mess with those. You want the one that's below it or the one that's beside it. And you want to go ahead and make sure you got a good hold of it. Because we're going to be free to drop it out here now. Just like that. This one has the LED upgrade bulb in it from the previous owner. So all I want to do is, you know what? I don't feel like messing with that. So we're just going to go ahead and just take off the... Oop. We're just gonna go ahead and remove the seal. This is gonna keep water from getting in the headlight. Okay, and you're just gonna have a clip in here. This is like an H11 bulb it looks like, or it was at one point before. We're just gonna pull this off. And you just have to use the screwdriver. Never done this before, you guys. There we go, that popped it up. It's kind of a crazy design right here. I may have to take the whole thing apart. I'm going to lay it on the fender. I do have a towel once again. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Not going to hurt a thing. Yeah, I'm going to have to take that whole entire clip off. 
Maybe that's normal because how much these, these motorcycles vibrate. Keeps it from blowing the halogen bulb when it has a halogen bulb in it. There we go. So remove the whole entire clip. And remove the LED bulb. That's pretty cool with an LED bulb. It was in there when I bought it. Okay, and you do have to remove the clip anyways because you need to take this chrome piece out, which is what the bulb goes into to, to deflect the light back. What it does, it deflects the light back into the chrome in the background. That's what gives your brightness. So, all right, let me get a flashlight and show you guys what this looks like. Yeah, you can see, look at all that where somebody tried wiping it. Now, one thing you do want to make sure when you put it back in, put it back in with the Harley symbol up. That way it looks right when it's back on the bike. So put it over here on the cart. Let's, let's go ahead and clean it. We're going to use the blue one as our wet towel. We're going to use this one so I can put the bulb or the light face down. It does appear to be glass. At least it seems like it is. If not, it's a very thick plexiglass. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to saturate this towel. Not a lot. Good. Just all sides. Okay. And I'm going to just stuff it down in here. Maybe. Okay, this is not working as easily as he showed it. Hang on a second, I got a better idea. So these are little 12 by 12 towels. And they're thin. I'm gonna go ahead and spray both sides. So these are ones I got from Walmart on the roll. And when you wash them, the plastic does disappear. This should fit down in there better. Okay, I'm gonna take this because it's not sharp. I'm gonna try and hold it. So as you can see, we're just gonna go around. We're just gonna try to clean all that fog out. So that was the very first thing I noticed when I bought the bike, was how foggy and nasty this was. And I was actually looking at buying new headlights, but now I don't have to worry about it. Because apparently it is a known issue for Harley Davidson's. So you guys, if uh, you've never been on the channel before, it's the first time you've seen me do a video like this, uh, hit that subscribe button. Just take a second, hit the subscribe button if this video helps you. Plan on doing a lot of videos on the Harley. It's not a new Harley, it's an 09, but the previous owner did a pretty good job taking care of it. It's in really good shape, but so I plan on making a lot of videos. I'm actually making a detailing video right now on it. I'm making a video right now on ceramic coating it and everything like that. Cleaning the chrome, cleaning the leather, protecting the leather. Vinyl leather, whatever you want to call it, pleather. And basically this is just going back over it and, and drying it. Just like you would on, on a window. Okay. Let's see if that's better. Where's my flashlight? Before we do that, we clean the outside of it so it doesn't throw us off. I can already tell you that looks that looks so much better, you guys. So let's turn the flashlight on. Hey, look. Nice and clean. Doesn't that look amazing? Look at that. No more streaks. Maybe a few here and there. I'm going to go over it one more time just to make sure, and then we'll install it. Okay, you guys, so while it's out, this appears to be glass. I'm going to install Geon QuickView. That's going to put a coating on the outside of it and protect it. Maybe. There we go. Make 
sure it's good. I'm gonna let that sit on there for about 10 minutes. All right, you guys, so time and moment of truth. I wiped quick view off of it. You guys, this was a very, very simple job, but now these are looking foggy, so I may have to remove uh, the spotlights also, but let's go ahead and let's put this thing back together. I put gloves on so I don't put fingerprints on it, hopefully. But we need to drop the chrome piece back in. The chrome piece still looks really good. Now we don't want to drop it unless it's an accident, but we just need to drop it back in. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to set our bulb back in. Make sure our tabs line up. We're going to grab our little bracket with the screw. Ah, screw it. We're going to set this down inside. You guys, I do not miss wrenching. Like, at all. Okay. Like that. I'm push this one. There, like that. We're going to put the rubber seal back on. It's going to help keep moisture out. Make sure our Harley Davidson bar and shield is pointed in the right direction, like this. This ring only goes on one way. Let's see if I can get it right the first time. I may have, or may not. Yeah, I did. And you don't need to be all He-Man, just need to make sure they're tight. Okay. Now, before we do go any further, let's turn the light back on. Let me show you guys. Now this one doesn't look nearly as clear as that one. I'll worry about that in a minute. Now look at that. Look how much better that looks. No wiping marks. If anything, there's white mark in there, that's actually on the chrome. I'm not really worried about that because when you look at it, you really don't see it unless you're looking at it from the side. But, wow. What a difference that made. Huge difference. Crystal clear now. I'm going to put the trim piece back on and be done. So I went ahead and cleaned up the trim piece. Got all the uh, nastiness off the inside here. One thing I do want to show you, this clip right here. See how that piece hangs down right there? That's got to go right in the top of here, and that's what's going to kind of secure at the top, because all you have is just a bottom screw holding it in. There, just like that. And like that, guys, it's on. All right, so you guys know I just cleaned this one. It looks fantastic. So I went ahead and I cleaned this one. What an absolute butt it is to clean because you have just a little tiny hole to get in. But now the problem is I got to do that one because that one looks so good over there. They look, these look brand new. These are the original lights from the bike from 09. Um, but what I'm doing, I'm just going to show you. I used, these are what I use to clean my bangs. And I say that word because otherwise YouTube will hear the other word and restrict my channel. Uh, to clean my bangs. Um, and... I have one that's wet with Diamond Clear, one that's dry, and then I'm using a radiator hose pick tool. It fits right in the hole perfectly. I'll show you guys here in just a second um, to get in there and kind of move it around. Are they perfect? Not, not nearly as perfect as this is, um, but it looks way, way better. As you guys can see, this one's all cloudy. So I forgot to turn the camera on. This is bonus footage. I already did the wet one. So I'm just using my tool. I got a dry one in here. Use my radiator hose tool. This is actually what you use for like heater cores. That's why it's got the hook on it like that. And I get up underneath this and I'm just slowly working my way around the lens. Just like this. And then I put this at the other end towards the bottom, grab it from the top, and then I'm just going to clean the chrome. That's what I had to do the other side because I got done and I realized the chrome looked worse than the actual glass itself. All right, you guys, so I'm done. It took me about an hour or so. 
Now these are not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. This one looks pretty good. This one right here I had a hard time getting the film out of, but the glass is really clear now. All in all, very, very happy with this. All right, you guys, so with just a little bit of elbow grease and a little bit of time, about an hour to do all three, um, they look way better. This looks about 98% better. These look about 80 to 90% better. They're a lot harder to do too because the hole in the back is smaller. All you need is a good glass cleaner. I definitely recommend Diamond Clear. It's a fantastic glass cleaner around your house, uh, your cars. It's window tint safe. Um, it is a fantastic glass cleaner. You can use it as a chrome cleaner also. You can use it as an adhesive remover because it is solvent based. Um, and then just get in there with a tool of some sort and wipe it around, put a dry towel in and you're good to go. And these are results you're going to get with just a little bit of effort, a little bit of time. No need to go out and buy brand new lights because that's what I was going to do. I was like, man, this looks so terrible. And then I did some research and so I found out, oh yeah. Uh, I want to say thank you once again uh, to, to James Neese, man. Your video was great. Uh, showed me that I didn't have to go buy new lights. It showed me that I didn't have to take the lens off. I could just go in through the back, which is what my, my idea was to begin with. So I was on the right track, uh, but you kind of confirmed it for me. So I want to say thank you, to you, just in case you see this video. But you guys, this made a huge difference right here. A little bit of time, a little bit of effort, and you guys can have the same results on your Harley if you're having the fogging issue also. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, join the Fab Fam. We would love to have you, and we'll see you in the next video.